When I started screenology last year, I had no clue what I was into, other than knowing I wanted to tell stories through film. Now a year and a half on, I am into telling true meaningful stories through fiction. But how did I end up here? Let's go back to my first Hampton. I've always been interested in dark stories, and the first film I made was about two brothers who fell out over an extended time period. The dialogue worked, but it was missing something important. With a lack of knowledge about the shots, the story failed to flow well and instead felt messy. This was due to a lack of preparation on my behalf, a time limit, and changing of my project halfway through the first term. My mental health suddenly took a turn for the worst, and I started believing I was in trouble when I wrote about my feelings in a book. Traumatised by this experience, I made a comedy about it which featured two guys fighting over a book with the answer to everything. This was when I found an interest in film being used as a way of making the impossible possible. Films could almost be dreams in reality. As the second term approached, my taste in film moved away from dramas and more to thrillers. Films which came out at this time were Hell or High Water and more importantly, Don't Breathe. Both films left you on the edge of your seat the whole way through, though, most importantly, they were entertaining. With this love of tension, I was ready to create something dark and mysterious in term two. So I created the most messed up film I could think of, which made it almost embarrassing to ask actors to help with. Luckily, I ended up with an amazing actress who filled the role of Ava and Eva perfectly. This is the first film which I've made, which I'm okay with saying that I was happy with. I got back into historic dramas at this point, particularly the ones which made me feel grim and I felt I had learned something from. But I still had a love for thrillers and surreal films, and as a result, one of my favorite films still to this day is Pan's Labyrinth a Spanish film which makes it a historical civil war with a fantasy world. With Term 2 finished, I continued to struggle with my mental health and started medication, which lowered my hallucinations but at the same time lowered my imagination, stopping me from writing to my full ability. With this, I found an interest in real life stories, particularly ones close to home. With new knowledge of being psychotic, I decided to make a documentary about it, being based slightly on my experiences but mainly on two friends' experiences. I currently have the interviews done and plan on scripting the stories when the term ends. This style I have planned mixes fictional storytelling along with a documentary. It is my most ambitious and exciting project yet.